up here in Kingsford, Michigan, uh, checking out the Yeti Cup, team number 10062, Robo Gators, coming out of Marquette, Michigan, up here in the UP. I'm here with uh, Katie, David, and Harry. We're going to talk a bit more about their cool robot here on Behind the Bot. they got an awesome arm I want to show you, really cool intake, and a really neat passive foundation grabber as well, too. And I actually want to start with that, uh, David. Can you tell me a bit more about this foundation uh, passive mechanism you have on your robot here? Well, I got it, and I, the idea from it from a team last year who could hook on the foundation without using any motors or having like a bunch of shenanigans. So it works by like this edge and it would go in and then it'd lock. So I use that. Here. Can you show off how it works as we're going yes. through? So like we look that. at that front corner there, we can see that it's grabbing uh, the foundation. Now yeah, how do you let go it. on it? Um, we turn. So we turn like that. And, and how did you come up with this idea? You said you were prototyping it, right? Uh, yeah. I kind of was just thinking of ways to, well, kind of move the foundation. And I thought of that team. And the first thing I thought was just flat old hook. But then I was like, wait, then we're going to be stuck on the foundation. And we don't want to be stuck on it for the rest of the match. So then I was like, what if we made edges on both sides? Then we could just unhook. So that's kind of what created that idea. Very cool. And I want to move on, keep moving on here. You guys have a really neat intake. I saw some compliant wheels on that. So Katie, why don't you tell me about the idea behind that and how it works? Um, we were just brainstorming and we came up with this idea. Um, we've had many different kinds. And you guys can show it off and drive it around as we're uh, doing this as well, too. I know there's that, yeah, you guys have the uh, uh, capstone in there, but let's show off how it actually picks up some of the stones, too, and tell me a bit more about it. Um, we've had many different types. Uh, yeah. So what made you want to go with the compliant wheels on your robot in order to pick them up? Well, we first had plastic we wheels with plastic in the middle, and then we tested a little bit, and we figured out that compliant wheels work better. So as you kept testing us throughout the time, uh, you saw the compliant wheels worked better. Uh, and I know a little bit right out of difficulties, but I know when I saw it on the field, you guys were doing a great job with that. So is this something you'll probably stick with in the future? Yes. Yeah, yeah definitely. Very cool. So one thing I want to kind of wrap up here with and we'll show up is your arm that you have. I know you got a stone inside there. You guys got a pretty sweet arm scoring uh, me mechanism here, Harry. So why don't you tell me a bit more about that? Um, we started out kind of thinking we'd have a claw. Then we'd think we'd use a wheel to spin it up into something. Um, in the end, we used a claw, but we thought, how would we pick it up? So we decided to pick it up by the nubs. It, um, the, the motors weren't strong enough, so we had to use gearing to make them strong enough. And it looks like we got a hold of that now. So we're going to see how uh, one of these are scored. And I really love how this flips back over. So what was your thought behind doing something like that? Um, well, we figured that it just flip, it just go upside down if we didn't have a, an axle with something spinning on it. But we didn't know how we wanted to do it. So we ordered parts. We actually had a swivel. But it was kind of a little too crazy, so we just went with what's on there. Well, RoboGator's looking really good here at this competition. Can't wait to see how you guys do here today, and good luck throughout the rest of the competition season. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.